is the plaintiff, Crystal Van. She says she and the defendant were such good friends they got matching tattoos. So suing her today is very difficult. But matching tattoos are not the woman owes her rent from when they lived together. She can't seem to get her to pay up, so she's suing her in court today for every penny of the $5,397.16 she's owed. This is the defendant, Barbara Ridings. She says the plaintiff has some nerve suing her here today because she was the only one paying the rent on the place they once shared. That's right. The plaintiff was the one who went on a rent strike because the landlord was evicting them. She's perplexed by this lawsuit and can't wait for the judge to hear her side of things. She's accused of failing her friend. All parties, please use your radiance. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket. These litigants were so tight, they got matching tattoos. So imagine how crazy it is that the plaintiff says the defendant stiffed her on rent. But the defendant says the plaintiff went on a rent strike and paid nothing. So the nerve. It's the case of strike three, and you're out. Crystal Van, you are suing Barbara Ridings for $5,397.16 that you say you're out and your former roommate owes you. Tell me what's going on. Um, well, Barbara and I, we've known each other for probably 12, 15 years. How'd you guys meet? Um, through a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. um, and her house burned down, and as soon as her house burned down, she called me and, she, and I said, come on, you know, you have somewhere to be. If I have somewhere to be, you can come with, stay, live with me. Okay, and you so, lived in what, an apartment? Um, I actually lived in a house. Where you were renting a house? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. she comes in, uh, but not alone. She comes in with? Um, she had two dogs. So you mm -hmm. took her in with her two dogs? Yes. Okay. And when did the problems arise? Well, we, we actually, the problem started because of parking, because the house that I lived in or that I was renting, it was, really, it was houses that were really close together. So my driveway was big enough for like two cars. And so the landlord sent me notice saying, hey, because we were getting fined all the time for the parking, like parking on the road and stuff. And so... They sent us notice saying we, they wanted us out. Anyway, so that's when the whole scene started. It was probably like in June. And she right. gave us like a 90-day notice or something like that. 90 days? Yeah. And then you re rewarded that by not paying rent? Kind of, sort of, something like no, that. No, not kind of, sort of. Yeah. Did you pay rent? Um, no. And did you pay rent? No. And now from March until June, had you been paying rent? Yeah, I'd been how paying much rent, rent were you paying? $600. How much? $600. And how much was the total rent? $1,200. Is that accurate? Mm -hmm. Okay. So how did it come about that you both coincidentally stopped paying rent? You just came, you just agreed upon it once you got the notice? Yeah. It okay. Was, it was a mutual decision, yes. Oh, that's lovely. All right. So then how long were you there until you left? June, July? August, September. We moved out in the middle of September. June, July, August, and September. For four, mm -hmm. for four months, you stiffed the landlord out of $4,800. Is that right? And then you went on a cruise. Who went on the cruise? The right. two of us. The two of you went together on a cruise. And the landlord had to struggle to pay, you know, the mortgage or just eat it. In fact, in other words, the landlord gave you the cruise, I guess. How much was the cruise? Well, the cruise was like $1,800 I paid oh. for the cruise. Uh, landlord gave you the cruise and spending money. Lots of liquor money and spend, I mean, you know, Do you guys have any moral compass that maybe makes you think that that's maybe kind of not good humanity? Nah, not really. All right, so now you are suing her for her unpaid rent from June to September. That's kind of, that's a kick in the pants. Because uh, you also didn't pay rent. And that's your defense. Ah, you did it too. That's your defense. But is the landlord going after you for the... Yeah, that's... Oh. We lived in one place, and they told us, they asked us to leave because of the parking. And we uh, were there until the middle of September, and then we moved together to a new place. And the new place, we, we paid, and then in December, she didn't pay. And so in December, the new place actually filed for eviction. So you agree that you didn't pay rent June through September, correct? Yes. All right, so then you guys moved to the new place, and then you also don't pay rent in December. I paid rent, all of the rent, which was $1,500. When? In October, November. I also put down a $1,500 deposit in September for that house. Okay, I need you to, uh, so let's roll back. You move into a new place in September. Yes. According to you, you pay the $1,500 deposit. Yes. 
And then what happens with September's rent? Who pays that? We paid prorated rent for September because we moved into the new place. In Who the middle paid of the rent? We did. You both did? Yeah. All right. Then what happened with October rent? Um, we paid rent. We both of you? Mm -hmm. Okay. What happened with November rent? Both of you paid it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then in December, what happened with the rent? Nothing. And then in January, I had to pay it all. I had okay. to pay all of it. Prove so that you paid all of the rent in January for December and January. Okay. Well, I didn't get evicted. And I'm they sorry? would have I didn't, they, I didn't get kicked out. So That's what you consider proof that you paid all the rent? Don't you have a receipt for paying the rent? Um, I paid online. Good. Then show me the proof that you paid online. Because okay. there should be... Um, I need desperately for your brain cells to hold hands right now. <laughs> You're in court suing for $5,300. Have you come to court completely empty-handed? Um, I mean, maybe I could pull up my... Let me okay. see. While you do that, let me talk to you. Listen. Did you pay December rent? No. Did you pay January rent? I wasn't living there in January, no. When did you move out? I moved out January the 2nd. Okay, do you understand that January the 2nd is in January? Well, yeah, but okay. I mean. So what happened to cause you to move out? Well, you know, I told her in December that I didn't have the money to pay rent because I, uh, you know, regardless of what she says, I paid all of October, which was $1,500. Can you prove and that? I paid, no, I didn't get any receipts. We were best friends. Okay. I mean, I just trusted her. I mean, how'd which, that go? It didn't go well. Okay. I mean, <laughs> so, so October, according to you, you paid all, and then what else? And then in November, I paid it all, so I didn't feel like I owed anything in December. I mean, I paid $1,500 three Why different times. Why can't you prove that you paid two months? Or, that tw because uh, she's got the receipts. I mean, she in October, she took my debit card and went and paid the, the Oh, rent. good. Then show me the statement on your debit card. Well, I don't have anything with me. I didn't bring anything with me. Is it just me? No, it's, I mean, no, not. Right. You know, like, like I'm worried about them crossing the street. <laughs> now let us discuss the rest of your lawsuit, where you are suing for $600 for carpet replacement, $400 for repainting. What, which landlord is suing you for that? The first landlord. Okay. Why, was, why were these repairs, the carpet upstairs, Paint, stairwell and bedroom, repair garage door, pressure wash driveway. Why should she have to pay for that? It was like there was dog pee and her dogs were on it. And Do you have pictures? I don't have any pictures. Why did the stairwell and bedroom need repainting? Painting Is that her bed, bedroom and yeah, stair? Yeah, because the master was on the main level, so I never went upstairs, and my son wasn't no, there. No, which so bedroom nobody... needed repainting, the, ma the master or hers? Mm -hmm. Her bedroom. And, and why? the stairwell, just from her going up and down the stairs and smoking up there. and Smoking what? Cigarettes. Okay, now let's talk about the tires. So her, whenever her house burned down, her car was in the driveway, and I guess her tires, like, I guess it messed them up. Anyways, it wasn't, she was driving around, and it wasn't really that safe, I don't think. So anyway, so I let her put a, her tires on my tires plus account. And did she pay you back? No. Why not? Which I turned around and bought two tires for her car for $341 at Tires Plus that I wrote a check for. Is that accurate? No, because I would want four tires, not two. Okay. So do you have any proof that you No, bought? but that is accurate. And she knows it's accurate. Okay. And you, where do you guys think all this is going <laughs> to land? Every time I ask you for proof and both of you go, yeah. Where I do you think it's going to land? I have my tires plus where I put. Yeah. Thank you. $125 for late fees of unpaid rent. Which landlord? Dece it was for December, the second Which landlord? Which landlord? The second landlord? Mm-hmm. Because I had the May rent. I see that? Um, I can show you I can show you our text messages. Yeah. Where I'm trying to collect. I don't know why you're laughing. I mean, That's I'm better just... than what you got. You got anything to show me? No. Then if I were you, I wouldn't tisk. So why do really good friends who get along not get along once they become roommates? Because he, when they're always fighting and beca because they know each other too well. Oh, so the familiarity breeds contempt. Right. Um, are you buying that? I mean, why, why, why? Well, you know, sometime in our life, some friction can happen. And uh, you know, because you live together and, you know, things may happen that, you know, people have disagreement, right? Things do happen going inside the courtroom. Okay, why on January 2nd? If you feel like you don't know where money, are you saying, I'll get you money and go to mom's? 
both. When will you be back? Okay, I have to get it from Mama. Because I, that was for December, and I was going to try to pay her. Well, I thought you said I didn't know December because I paid October and November. Well, that is what I said, and that's the way I feel. But, I mean, she was my best friend. I was still going to try to help her. I mean, I was going to do what I could. I mean, I couldn't help that I, I mean, I just didn't have it. I'm trying to rebuild my house after it burned down, and I just didn't have it. You know, but I mean, you we're see best how that friends. doesn't make sense, though, to I anybody do see how who that has ears. Make sense. Yeah, I do see that. Yeah, but, I mean, like either you don't know December, like you very, you know, indignantly said a minute ago, or you do owe December, but no one owes December because she's my best friend. That's not normal. All right. Um, the eviction costs of four hundred dollars. Can you show me that you're being charged eviction costs of four hundred dollars? No. Okay. If it's good enough for you, it's good enough for me to not bring any proof. All right, now we got a cell phone bill you're suing for for $237.48. Here's this, here's where I paid her T-Mobile. I don't have Did she pay your T-Mobile? Yes. Did you pay her back? No. Okay. How long were you guys friends? We've been friends about 12 years. Do you understand why she's suing you? Because you seem very angry that she's suing you. I'm not angry. I, I mean, I'm hurt. I'm not angry, but I, I guess I you, understand. Well, let's talk about that. Why are you hurt that well, she's Well, because any time that she needed anything, I mean, I would give her my debit card. Of course, I have no proof of any of that because she was my best friend, and I never got any receipts or anything. But, you know, we just always helped each other. And so, you know. So are you angry because you don't owe her the money, or are you angry because you think she should eat it because you've always helped her? No, I don't think she should eat it. Then what you angry about or what you hurt about? I'm just hurt because we're here, period. I mean, I guess. I don't know. When was the last time you two talked to each other? Uh, when I moved out, I suppose. I haven't talked since then. Well, you should be more than hurt. You should be angry if you paid all of October and she's a liar. I'm pretty hurt. <laughs> and what say you about the carpet replacement and the painting that she's suing you for? Were you smoking cigarettes up there? Uh, yeah, uh, we both smoked though. But I, yes, I do. I did smoke. I quit since then. But okay. Um, I mean, the paint looked fine to me when we moved out. I mean, so I don't know. If she says I owe for that, then. And you don't have any proof of paying for her tires. No. Okay. Uh, here's what's going to happen. As for the carpet replacement and repainting and the tires, those things, I'm going to have her pay directly to you in the amount of $1,747.16. The rent that is due mm -hmm. is going to be paid to the landlords because I don't really want you guys to take another cruise on it. I don't think it's right. So if you want to clear your credit, you'll pay your half to the landlord. Mm -hmm. But yes, it shouldn't all be your problem in the credit department. Good luck, folks. Well, in this case, where there was so little evidence produced for the judge to make a decision the plaintiff's going to get $1,700. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about what just happened in here? I mean, you didn't well, look too good in court, you know? Well, no, I didn't. But like I said, I didn't have proof. She was my best friend. I never got any receipts or anything. I just trusted that, you know. I mean, how did you think you could up. prove anything in court? When well, you I came? really didn't. I mean, I didn't have much of a choice but to come, so, you know. Did you really get matching tattoos? Yes. How's that working out now? Well, not too well now, but we did get them. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? I won't ask you. They're Show on them. our ankles. On your ankles? Yeah. What are they? What are the pictures? They're little Celtic symbols for best friends. You're going to have it erased? No. I okay. want to keep it. <laughs> okay, very good. All right. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Ms. Van, you didn't look too good either, you know. I've never heard the judge say, I want you to get your brain cells connected to anyone before. Wow. What did you think when she said that? I don't know what to think. Just it went just over your of, head, I think, you know. Well, no, it's just kind of, it's all just her and I fighting and, or feuding is just, it's just sad. It's a mess. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. You must sign a few documents. There's one for the books. Harvey, what do you think? Uh, by the way, if you uh, smoke in an apartment, you might as well just count on the fact that you're going to get docked security so the apartment can be repainted. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.